still happy to get it across the line. Um, it came up relatively recently. Um, spoke to Forbes a bit. I was with him in the T10 before and it uh, came up then and it, it's, it's gone across the line. I can't wait to, to get started. I um, you know how great a club it is. So much history behind it and the Holly stand and all that. So we're really looking forward to getting over and, and getting playing in front of it. I really enjoy playing in England um, to start with and I haven't actually missed a year in England for a long time. So I was hoping that something might come up. Uh, didn't quite expect it to come up this way, which is even better, I suppose. It comes out of the blue like that and you get a call and it's a, it's a bit of a no-brainer. So delighted that Warwickshire and Cricket Ireland have got, got up through the line uh, and hopefully get ready to go, yeah. It's the first time I sort of met him in person and it was just great. He was actually the head coach there and we got on really well and he's, he's real helpful and quite tact. So um, we really enjoyed the time together and managed to thankfully score a few runs and uh, that sort of relationship developed and of course Briggsy was there as well it was a, and um, Benji as well so get, get to know the lads pretty um, pretty well over that period of time so I know, a lot, know, know a, lot, a lot of the guys there I think so yeah I think that's why he was maybe interested in the first place and um, that's certainly the, the way I like to play my cricket hopefully if I'm in good form that's the way it'll come off the bat um, I think cricket in general has been going that way and you can see especially with England are probably the main factors in that over the last sort of five years so um, it's changed the way the, the game's being played um, and I think that's the only way that's going to go so hopefully I can bring a little bit of that to the team but I'm sure there's there's so many guys around the squad that can do the same and that, that's what makes it exciting. Yeah, I just think it gives you more confidence you know you, you're already of your comfort zone and um, you're playing in different conditions you're playing with new teams I think that only helps um, overall so Happy, happy with how it's been going. It's there's some great comps out there. There's some some brilliant bowlers, particularly coming from a batting point of view. There's some to to try and get through um, the likes of Shaheen Afridi or whoever's coming up against you. It's, it's it's tough work, but once you once you do that a couple of times, you do get the confidence to keep going forward. The, the exciting thing for me is that I haven't played too much in the North Group. Um, you're so used to playing the same teams year in year out, so I think that little bit of freshness, and um, you know the teams are so good, and um, you just enjoy going to the grounds. Hopefully they're full house, and I think that's when everyone generally plays their best cricket. So really looking forward to that. Hopefully things are back open. There's no real restrictions. Touch wood, and we can just crack on with the tournament and hopefully get through to the latter stages and go on even further. Yeah, it's been, it's going to be a really exciting open with him. Um, he's a, he's a top player, top class player. Um, really enjoyed our time together at Southern Brave um, for a few weeks last year. So, uh, I think the timing of his innings or what makes him such a special player. He seems to be able to uh, run with the sort of flow of the game really well, and then come back, come home really strong at the back end. So, um, I think if he keeps doing what he's doing, uh, I think we'll be in a good place. And then at the other end, I'll hopefully try and add a little bit more. Uh, a bit of firepower, hopefully, at the top and not put too much pressure on anyone else. So that'll be our game plan to start. But you know, it's easy to say how we're going to start. We'll see how it goes. Fairly positive, apart from uh, nicking off most of the time um, in the Red Bull stuff. Um, we played on, I think we played a couple of T20s there last year for North Hans or two years ago. Um, really enjoyed it. The wickets are always brilliant. Um, even, in the, even in the Red Bull stuff, it's, it's such a great stadium to play to play your cricket so we're just looking forward to a few flat decks and see where things go I've heard great things you know I haven't played too much cricket there at night where the, the, the people come in sort of after work and have a great time but you see, always see it in the TV and you think geez that would be some place to play so that's really exciting hopefully they come in their droves especially with the things that have happened in the last couple of years so that, that hopefully full houses packed house and we'll see where we go yeah, those local rival games they tend to be brilliant matches, don't they? There's always a few few extra things on the line. So I'm sure lads on both sides will be fairly pumped up for that.